Hi there, my name is Stephanie. I am the owner of Stud Crud Busters. It is a professional horse hygiene cleaning service throughout the state of Florida. Um, I've, been, I've been able to clean up over 1,200 horses successfully, naturally, not using sedation throughout the state of Florida. And um, I have different techniques that I like to use with horses uh, to be able to clean them, especially in the state of Florida. It's a very important practice that we regularly clean these areas on our horses because of the tropical climate, uh, the humidity, the bugs, the rain, the mud, all of these things are different factors as to why we need to clean our horses regularly and make sure that they're comfortable and that they don't have any problems in that area. Um, so I don't just do sheath cleaning for the for geldings and stallions. I'm also uh, very busy cleaning mares also because mares have needs with their teats and mares also get beans. So that's something that I'm able to help out a lot of horses with. Uh, one of the areas of service that I get a lot of questions is how I how I use no sedation to thoroughly clean a horse. Um, it's a common misconception with horses that horses need to, well, male horses in particular, need to be dropped in order to clean them. Um, so that's why a lot of people ask me if I don't sedate the horse, how do I get them to drop? Um, well, honestly, um, I have successfully cleaned over 1,200 horses just professionally with stud crud busters, not including the 20 years of experience that I've had uh, cleaning horses as part of my um, horse owning duties. And my technique is that uh, not every horse does drop. To tell you the truth, probably 10% of the horses that I work with will actually drop um, just from being relaxed and being comfortable with me touching them there. But all of the other horses I'm still able to clean. Honestly, um, you go up in there and clean. Um, it, it, it's an interesting uh, theory. Um, I guess you kind of have to see my work to understand it. But if you are dealing with your horse and if you're wanting to clean them, um, it is not a roadblock to cleaning your horse because he won't drop. This doesn't mean that he can't be cleaned. It doesn't mean it's impossible. Um, what you have to do and what I do basically is I work with the horse. I get him comfortable with the fact that I'm touching him. Um, I, I let him know that I am here to help him and um, I create a safe environment for him also. And I gently will run my hand down his belly and as I do that, I'm desensitizing him. I'm making sure that he's okay, that I'm gonna be touching him there. And when he's comfortable, I go ahead and I proceed with cleaning through the canal and then up through where the sheath is. Um, I guess uh, my advice that I have to others that have the question about uh, what to do with your horse if the horse doesn't drop, there are there is definitely a way that you're able to still successfully clean them because this is a practice that does need to be done. Um, some horses are very difficult and a lot of people will say, well, he doesn't let me touch him there. Um, you kind of have to set up the right space, uh, set up the right day where you don't have any other obligations, uh, set up a quiet environment where there's no animals running around and maybe not a lot of traffic at the barn. Um, maybe have somebody who's nice and calm who's able to hold your horse while you do that. Uh, that's usually what I'll do. I'll have the owner holding the horse so I can go ahead and, and get him comfortable with me and I can get the cleaning done as uh, efficiently, uh, sometimes as quickly as possible because some horses don't allow me a whole lot of time. So you have to be kind of good and you have to be quick. Uh, so you'd have to set up a comfortable space and um, go ahead. Cleaning the sheath starts way before you actually clean them. Um, I would work with them consistently. Horses are some of the most consistent animals, and the more you do something with your horse, the better he's going to be. I know one of my horses, uh, the first day I got him, he was not going to let me clean his sheath, and it took me a few months of consistent work uh, touching him, um, writing my hand down his stomach, giving him a cookie, giving him a pat, telling him what a good boy he is, putting him away, the next day coming back, working with him again, running my hand down his stomach, making sure that he's okay with me touching him there, and he'll usually show you by going, <sighs> and that's a good sign that he's comfortable with you at that point. So it's gonna take months, it could take weeks, it could take days, but work with your horse before you actually plan to clean them. And then, uh, when you finally feel that he's comfortable right over his sheath, 
uh, letting you touch him. And this actually also applies to mares. You have to work with her being comfortable with, with uh, you touching her there. Uh, when he's comfortable, you can run your hand through that canal area, kind of that outer canary which t area, which tends to be very dirty, and I'd start with that. Then you go in a little bit further, a little bit further, study what the horse's anatomy looks like. You'll kind of see the canal area, then you'll see the sheath, which is tucked up inside, kind of think the gun up in the gun holster. And um, as you know your anatomy, and as your horse is comfortable with you, you can um, proceed to clean that area. It may take you a couple days, it may take you a couple weeks, but I sometimes am all the way in towards the back because I can clean all the way back in there. And um, I just work with the horse when I'm there. Um, most, oh my gosh, I've had, I've had over a thousand horses successfully let me clean them and um, I leave it on a good note with them. That's also the most important part and I, have a, I give them a cookie at the end so they remember me the next time that cleaning comes by. Um, I work with a lot of young horses and usually it's the first time that they've ever been cleaned and um, hopefully I, I leave them with a good experience so the next time and the next time and the next time they get cleaned they're, they're okay and they're comfortable with it and this is something that you have to work with your horse on. Don't be discouraged and um, rule out cleaning your horse just because he doesn't drop. You can still successfully clean him and take care of all of his problems. I hope this helps. Uh, look forward to some of my other videos. Also, you can see me in the June-July of 2018 edition of Holistic Horse Magazine where I talk about uh, horse hygiene. So please pick that up. You can also check it out online. It's, a, it's um, magazine number 115. Okay? Good luck. Happy cleaning. I'll talk to you soon. If you need any help, feel free to contact me. I travel throughout the state of Florida. Thanks so much.